Yippee-ki-yay, it's Mystic Mind trolling time. What is up, you guys? Avery here. I hope you enjoyed that intro because it is time to get cancer filled, ladies and gentlemen, just like me. So you can be just like me. We, we can be twins. We can totally be twins. I'm just kidding. All my stuff's benign. In case you don't know about that, you can look at my update video that I posted a couple months ago. Don't worry. Everything's totally fine. Uh, but yeah, you guys, this is Mystic Mind Troll. Uh, once people saw that Skill Dream was at three, people were like, oh my god, like people are going to be playing three Mystic Mind and three Skill Dream in their Mystic Mind Troll decks. No, you really don't need Skill Dream in this deck, all jokes aside. Um, it's sort of not really rid Required unless you're playing against something that has a lot of continuous effects in which case yeah You might want to use skill dream but even then like what are you gonna worry about trickstar? Nah, trickstar is garbage um, In branded when they have the masquerade dragon that hits you for 600 every time you activate a Carter effect Okay, maybe but even then I'm just gonna play cauldron and gain a bunch of life points and then hit you for a bunch of damage eventually So, you know, that's something to keep in mind um, Along with that keep in mind that this is mystic mind burn You're not reinventing the wheel here You want to get mystic mind established as quick as you can if your opponent's able to pop it You're probably gonna lose the game. So make sure that you like the video, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers. I've been on YouTube for over 10 years, off and on, taking breaks here and there, but I really want to get to 1,000 subscribers. It would mean a lot to me. So thank you and, and thank you for subbing and watching the videos. So let's go ahead and dive on into this here. We are playing a two silent wobby and two planet pathfinder. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you know that my dad and I have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! together since 2008. My dad is the OG Jeff Leonard, except Jeff Leonard got the fame. My dad did not. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is really more his profile than mine, if anything. Um, but we do, you know, bounce ideas off of each other for the deck. Um, and we did decide to go with planet pathfinder and silent wobby. Um, still better than DD guide or DD survivor or whatever the hell the name is. I think it's like DD Guide. Anyway, um, these are pretty standard. It's, this is like two more copies of Mystic Mine, and this is just be able to drop it to your opponent's field so that they have a monster. So anyway, really good cards. Uh, definitely recommend that you play those at two copies each. They're also side outable in like games two and three. Then we're playing three Mystic Mine. D it, ignore the proxy. This this is three Mystic Mine. <laughs> I'm just waiting on the D Fisher to, to or not the D Fisher. I'm waiting on the Mystic Mine to come in the mail. What am I saying? Three copies of Mystic Mine. If you're not playing three, I don't know what you're doing. You you play it on the board. You drop your pants. Proceed to play with yourself and wait until the opponent loses the to final countdown or, or to uh, Cauldron of the Old Man. Uh, then we were playing two Cauldron of the Old Man and one Final Countdown. If you looked at my earlier builds, then you will know that this used to be three Cauldron, but now we're playing one Final Countdown. This is side outable in games two and three because if you go to time, you don't want to be 2,000 life points under your opponent. So it's just another way to beat the opponent in case you know, you're not able to get your Cauldrons off. Um, or if they pop both of them, then you've still got the countdown to rely on just going by turn by turn. Um, so yeah, you just pretty much side it out after games two or three, whichever happens, uh, just depending on how the match goes. And then you can just side in something else because countdown in time is just not going to work in your favor. Uh, and then we are playing the one copy of Terraforming, three copies of uh, Demise of the Land. I almost called it Dimension Land. Uh, Demise of the Land. Uh, play three copies. I've seen some people play two. You got to play three. Uh, and then we're playing. Three copies of Field Barrier. I've even seen people play two copies of this. I feel that three is just really necessary. You really want to protect the Mystic Mind. Keep in mind that with Field Barrier, it also locks the opponent out of their field spell zone. So if you're playing against Dinosaurs, which is a really shit matchup for this deck, um, you can lock them out of their Lost World uh, before they get a chance to play it. They were playing three copies of Goddess Scold. Um, I was going back and forth on two and three. I feel like three is just the best way to go. It acts like another negate if you're able to get it off early and control what the opponent draws. Even if they side deck on you, you could side deck out maybe one or two copies of these. But at the end of the day, you want to keep something, some form of Goddess Scold in this deck so that you're able to control what the opponent draws. Because with Mystic Mind established, they're not really going to have a way to shuffle their deck. So I feel that three is, is the best way to go. Then we're playing two of the expensive Pot of Prosperity three Pot of Extravagance, and three Pot of Duality. Don't click off yet. Hang on, hang on. Don't click off. Um, if you don't have money for Prosperity, so you can play like a copy of Upstart and a copy of One Day Piece. You can play two copies of Magical Mallet. Um, you could even play Card of Demise. I wouldn't recommend it, but I've seen some builds play that instead of Prosperity. So there are options that you can use. Don't feel like just because I'm playing Prosperity that, you know, you suddenly can't play this deck. You do have options. And then... We are playing three copies of Dark Ruler No More and one copy of Harpy's Feather Duster. This is my tech options for the deck. Um, I've gone back and forth on this, right? Because 
Feather Duster is kind of more of a going second card, but the thing is, if the opponent goes first, you want to have a way to eliminate their back row, and the same goes for Darker Luna Morn. You know, it's the risk that you take playing this deck that you have to be able to play Dark Ruler No More going first or second game one. Because if the opponent goes first and they set up Negates, they set up Phoenix Enforcer, they vomit all over the board with Branded and Albaz and all that other baby back bullshit, you've got to be able to have an out if you end up going first game, or excuse me, going second game one. Because if you don't have these in and you go second game one, you're just going to auto lose. You're going to get decimated. So I really feel that these cards are necessary in the deck going first or second. And if your opponent doesn't see these cards in game one, then they're they're going to be shocked if they do see them when they go first. Uh, or in game three when, you know, you may have taken these out or what have you. So it can really surprise the opponent. Then we're playing one copy of Metaverse. It's another copy of Mystic Mind. We're playing three copies of Dark Bribe three copies of Solemn Judgment, and then one copy of Curse Seal. I have a lot of people ask me what this card does, and it's actually rather surprising because this card is busted AF. So what it does is that uh, whenever either you or your opponent activates a spell card, it's a counter trap, uh, you can activate it, discard a spell from your hand, negate the activation of that spell card, and destroy it. I think it even banishes it, but it regardless, negates it, and then... Uh, for the rest of the duel, neither player can activate spell cards with that card's name. So, if either you or your opponent activates Cosmic and you use Curse Seal to negate it, uh, then both of you are locked out of Cosmic for the duel. Twin Twisters, you're locked out. Lightning Storm, you're locked out. Um, Dark Ruler, you're locked out. Uh, it's a really, really good card in this deck, and it's another negate and just, just totally locks the opponent out of uh, playing that specific card. I actually had a game where a guy had side decked in Twin Twisters on me, uh, and he activated it, and I chained Curse Seal. And then when I use Goddess Scold on the next turn, I put the two Twin Twisters that he was going to draw into on the top of his deck so he would have two dead draws in a row because he couldn't even play the cards at all. So that is the entire main deck. And uh, quite honestly, it's it's pretty standard, I think, for the most part, um, other than you know the Feather Duster and the Dark Ruler No Mores. Um, but there are a lot of different ways that you can play this deck. This deck is very malleable, for lack of a better term. When it comes to the extra deck, you can play Waking the Dragons targets. Um, you can just play 15 cards that you have extra and prosperity targets. Um, currently, in my side deck, I am testing Waking the Dragons, so I'm playing 15 cards of targets uh, in the extra deck for Waking the Dragons. Um, but really, it can be whatever it is that you want, whatever your budget suits more. Um, if you've got a lot of dinosaur players at your locals or at regionals, YCSs, what have you, you know, you just prepare for your local setting of what you're going to be expecting to see. Um, you know, a lot of dinosaur decks, you can play Link Kribo and then use a secondary token that they give you or something to go into Secure Gardener to attack over a monster, pop a Secure Gardener, you don't take any damage. Just all depends on what you want to do. Like I said, this, the, you can interchange this with several different cards. Um, so yeah, you know, like I said, guys, this is Mystic Mind Burn, and you're not reinventing the wheel. You want to get Mystic Mind established. If they get rid of it, you're going to lose the game. It is what it is. Um, but it's a fun deck. People are going to be pissed off because with Imperial Order Band, you know, that's one less out to Mystic Mind, which is fantastic. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, did you catch cancer from this video? Did you, um, did you want to maybe sucker punch me in the face? I, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> so my locals are going to end up kicking my ass out, I'm sure. And uh, I'm just going to roll up on in there like we have the biggest cucumber in the room and, and just have a good old time trolling people. People going to be so pissed. People going to be pissed at my locals when I get my last Mystic Mine in. Oh, they're going to want to kick my ass out in the parking lot. <laughs> if you play this deck, bring a bodyguard with you. That's all I got to say. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.